um, hi everyone, uh, just thought I'd show you this video, um, it's about this website I found, and it's all about QR codes, um, you might have seen them around places, mainly on billboards and stuff, and what they actually do is they are used to send and receive data, so like, if say it's on a big sign, all you do is use some special software, take a picture of it, and it will, um, change it all into data and you can get information on whatever it's about. Um, this website I found can do a couple of things. There is software to be able to get it and obviously change it into data and to create your own codes. So um, the website address is up here. Um, I'll also put it in the description. Okay so let's give it a go. So let's say we wanted, um, uh, let's say hello. So you just type it in under text, generate, and there it is, the code. So it's really simple. And obviously you've also got your HTML link. Um, you can also do it with websites. So let's say Facebook. And then generate. And then there it is, Facebook's one. Okay, so now there's getting the software. Um, the software um, goes onto your phone, and um, you need to have a phone with a camera to be able to do it. So we go to Cable Reader, and this basically gives you instructions. So we click to download. Um, there are a few steps you can take. So you can do it by text by internet download through your phone or through computer download and then changing it over to your computer. Um, I would probably recommend you do computer to your phone mainly because if you have to pay for your internet you're better off doing it through your phone otherwise they're going to try charging. Um, remember when you're downloading it though um, it will be free but to uh, take pictures and change them you have to pay for internet there so if you've got free internet though you're okay okay so you can just click what phone you have um lg currently isn't listed but um they're always adding new phones so let's say you had a nokia um they have to test each individual phone as well so let's say you have this phone or well let's say you had this phone and let's say you had say the 5320 or whatever um you probably could still give it a go because it probably will still work on there but the phone just haven't been tested so yeah just play around just give it a go and then fill out the steps and you can download it on your phone and yeah so i hope that helped um hope you get some use out of it this is aaron from aaronswell.com thanks for watching